Hi, my name is Kyle Jamieson. I'm an academic here in the Computer Science Department at University College London. And I'm here today to tell you about UCL ArrayTrack, a precise indoor location system. Hello, my name is Angela Sasse. I'm the head of the Information Security Research Group and I work on an often neglected but very important part of security, which is uh, to make it efficient and effective in practice. I'm uh, Dean Barrett. I'm a senior lecturer in the UCL Centre for Medical Image Computing, which is uh, closely connected with the departments of computer science and medical physics uh, here at UCL. And one of my main interests is in um, addressing some of the issues of prostate uh, cancer. The research I'm presenting here is in two parts, really. The first part is um, concerned with trying to use MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, um, to diagnose prostate cancer and to use information from MRI images to um, conduct uh, some needle-based uh, biopsies or um, some treatments for prostate cancer in a much better way than they can uh, at the moment. Imagine that you're holding your smartphone, walking through a grocery store, and you're interested in products you see before you. As you hold your smartphone, access points like the one you see here on the wall of the grocery store can pinpoint your location down to centimeters. What that means is that as you're standing in front of, say, the apples, your smartphone will tell you about that product and give you information such as how far it traveled to the supermarket and tell you more about it so you can make an informed buying decision. The work we've been doing with major international companies is to look at how much time some of the security mechanisms waste. And so companies are often very surprised to find out that it takes uh, their employees three weeks a year in total just to log into various systems. And we are designing new, more efficient uh, ways with them. And also we've been helping the UK government to look forward and bring uh, the new login into the, the online services that we will all use to make that something that everybody can use without undue stress or difficulty. The second part is really some computer simulations that we've done, again using uh, three-dimensional models that have been reconstructed from MRI images that uh, have allowed us to simulate um, some of the, well, the main methods, which is uh, needle biopsy for detecting prostate cancer. And by doing large numbers of simulations and uh, doing some analysis of the statistics resulting from those simulations, we've been able to uh, develop a new scheme for diagnosing prostate cancer.